Hello, my friends. This is your astrological and tarot energy report for November 5th, 2023. My name is Natasha, also known as Nurse Natasha. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome back. Um, I'm doing daily collective energy tarot astrology reports for every single day in November. Um, so if you like this, if you want to know what's going on, come join us. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment, all those things. It helps out a small business more than you know. Um, <clears throat> I've already, <coughs> excuse me. I've already shuffled these decks. We're going to start with the Rider Waite Tarot, and then we're going to clarify with another deck. I've been using this um, Mystic Mondays deck. It was actually one of my first tarot decks, so we've been clarifying with that. Um, we're going to get right on into it. I'm going to zhuzh shuffle these decks a little bit while I tell you kind of what's going on on today, November 5th, just astrologically. And again, I put out the intention that this is a collective reading, and I put out the intention that it finds who needs it. So if you're here, welcome. You're part of the collective. Um, so <clears throat> we already have, my throat is like, <clears throat> perhaps throat um, chakra activation here, or allergies, you know, a little bit of both. Um, we have the Seven of Cups already here. We just had yesterday, Saturn went direct in Pisces. So Saturn is no longer in retrograde. It was our graduation. It was a reality check. It was the final exam. Did you pass? Maybe, hopefully, if you did the work, you passed. Um, but we have our, I mostly focus on the moon because I'm a moon witch. So we're going to be most, mo bleh, mostly focusing on the um, transitions in the moon, um, the moon phases, what sign that it is in, and then like major transits. Like again, Saturn direct in Pisces is kind of a major transit. Today, we are in our last quarter moon in the sign of Leo. I'm a Leo moon, so I love it when the moon is in Leo. It makes me feel so good. Um, but with the Leo moon, our, our last quarter moon, it's like step into the spotlight, finish up any projects that you have going on. Leo rules the heart, so could be a great time to work, work on opening that heart. Um, but yeah, Leo moon, step into the spotlight and stepping into the spotlight while yes it is getting attention it could also get um criticism but criticism isn't something to run away from it's you know it can be constructive obviously we don't want haters and stuff like that but when you put yourself out there that's just it comes with the territory so we have the seven of cups already lurking here being spoiled for choice lots of options you know i i think maybe now that we've kind of had that final exam moment as Saturn goes direct in Pisces. It's like, okay, now what? <laughs> like, now, you know, the Seven of Cups is like you have all these options in front of you. And it is kind of an illusion sort of um, energy. You know, they're, the things in the cups may not be as they seem. It would not be a good time to kind of choose recklessly. Um, I always think of the Seven of Cups um, as the scene in Aladdin when they're in the Cave of Wonders. And, you know, Aladdin is um, trying to find the lamp and it's like, do not get distracted by the treasure, right? And then Abu like ends up picking up that giant ruby and everything comes crashing down. Like, don't get distracted by the treasure. Like, trust your gut, know what's right, know what's wrong, know what you want, know what you don't want. And don't get distracted by the shiny things that, you know, you probably know your intuition knows that it's too good to be true. Like, don't go for that giant ruby that's going to like destroy everything, right? Anyways, last quarter moon in Leo, perhaps finish a project, step into the spotlight, open the heart. What else? What do we need to know on November 5th, 2023? All right, just all the cards. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? We have a repeater. <laughs> the Eight of Swords was uh, a big player in our reading yesterday, November 4th. The Emperor Reverse behind that. Yeah, if you're feeling stuck, if you like you can't make big boss moves, you can't move forward, it's in your mind. You're feeling trapped in your brain with your limiting beliefs. Stop it. Get some help. Do something different. Seven of Swords. You know, this is a card of can be lying, cheating, stealing, deception, but it is more importantly a card of doing things in a different way. This person is stealing all the swords away from the battle camp so they don't have to go to battle. Like, do something different. <laughs> do something a little different well we had with the seven of swords the world and the six of pentacles pop out i kind of have to censor this because she's nike um but the world is full circle completion a cycle ended a new cycle begins saturn direct in pisces we have had our final test our final exam and this was also a card that came up yesterday the six of pentacles um equal giving and receiving this is also honestly the card i associate with the heart chakra and balance um which again leo rules the heart um you can see the scales here it is a it is an earth sign card so um virgo capricorn taurus but it is also a card of libra because we have the scales there if you have not had that full circle moment yet if you have not passed the test 
it's time to do something a little differently. And what, what do you do differently? You need to have equal giving and receiving. You need to have equal give and take. Perhaps you need to be generous. Perhaps you need to stop being so generous and let yourself receive. All right. <clears throat> I mean, the world is... I don't see that card very often. It is a very lovely, lovely card to get. Um, and again, it's like full circle. Congratulations. You did it. Completion. Again, Saturn direct in Pisces. Saturn is the Lord of Karma. You know, Big Daddy Saturn is like, that's a big deal. Have you had your Saturn return yet? Like, if you don't know what your Saturn return is, it's when Saturn returns to the planet that you were born under. And that's literally like what we call a midlife crisis. Like Saturn returns happen around every 30 years. So you have one around when you're 30, like 27 to 30. And then again, when you're around 60, like 57 to 60. Why do you think so many people have midlife crises at 60? Because Saturn, your Saturn return happens. It's like a one to three year period where you have to graduate and it can be hard. It can feel like a Mercury retrograde. Um, if your Saturn is in Pisces, congratulations, you're in yours right now. Mine was in Aquarius, so I just ended mine in March and it's a giant up level. Like, yes, you might experience some major tower moments and transformations. It's not easy. Saturn return, you know, gets a really bad rep for just being terrible sometimes, but it's because your karma comes. You have to pass the test. You have to up level. You have to graduate. So, <clears throat> yes, you have to move on. Six of swords. You have to move on to commerce. So commerce shores. Lots of swords energy here. Um, getting in the boat and moving on. What are you taking with you? What are you leaving behind? Like, I love the six of swords. Could be a card that you're moving or have plans of moving. But today on November fifth, I would say. Figure out what you want to take in that boat. Figure out what you want to leave behind. You know, if we're going through this graduation moment or we have had this graduation moment with Saturn direct in Pisces, now it's time to be like, all right, I'm not that old me anymore. That's not me. What is coming with me and what is getting left behind? The magician, absolutely. You can create your own reality. You can do whatever you want. Um, you know, with the vibe of kind of like finishing up your projects and, and kind of, you know, it's like tying up loose ends is what I'm hearing today. Um, you have all the tools you need. You see the magician has all the suits of the tarot on the table. They have the infinity symbol um, over their head. They're doing the as above, so below hand signs. Like you can create your re reality. You can, you're the alchemist, you're the magician. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> so just, why not just do it? King of Pentacles, absolutely. King of Earth. Um, I always see him as just like heavy Taurus energy. Um, you can see there's kind of like the bull uh, behind him, but the King of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles because he has so many systems and has done so much hard work and has put all those things in place already that his abundance goes off like clockwork. You know, he has already worked really hard to get to where he is. So he can like sit back and relax while his abundance just kind of takes care of itself. So maybe do some heavy abundance work today. Work on um, the systems, work on stability, work on foundation. Um, yeah, I mean, that is, yeah, of, of course the five of cups is at the bottom of the deck. If you're in my membership, which by the way, if you want to just hit that join button, I have a membership here on YouTube where we do live tarot, live yoga, live workshops. This has been our stalker card for eternity. Um, this is the card of grief, of disappointment, of crying over those spilt cups. Stop crying over the spilt cups. Please, I need to stop seeing this freaking card. It's it's annoying me at this point. Turn around and get those cards that are upright. If you're feeling like you still have not passed the test, if you're feeling like you still haven't closed that cycle, you still haven't had your world card moment, just do it. <laughs> Insert Shia LaBeouf saying, just do it here. Um, that's who I see as the magician, by the way, is that Shia LaBeouf video where he's like, just do it. Um, yeah, we got to move on. Move on, Mary. Um, all right. What else we need to know for November 5th? By the way, you should be definitely doing a lot of this work now because we're finally coming out of a lot of our retrogrades. We're out of eclipse season. Guess what? At the end of this month, the Mercury retrograde shadow period starts and we end this year with a Mercury retrograde. So get it done now. <laughs> like while we have this kind of less intense energy, let's get it done because ugh. I mean, not that I think that all energy, whether it's retrogrades or eclipses, is just energy to work with. It's not good or bad, but like, come on. <laughs> like, we all don't like Mercury retrograde for a reason. 
Anyways, what's going on on November 5th? What are we doing? What are the vibes? What are the messages that we need to know? This is the Mystic Mondays deck, by the way. If you want to learn the tarot, they have a great app called Mystic Mondays that will let you do a digital daily card pool. And it has um, the upright and reverse meanings for every card. By the way, this isn't sponsored or anything. I just, this is literally the deck that I started with like six years ago. And I love it. So there's a star again. We had the star yesterday. We have it again here today, the card of Aquarius, but it's the card of your North Star. What are we moving towards? The North Star. What are you following as you get into this boat and you get to go to move on and you have ended, you know, this cycle with the world? You're moving towards your North Star. You're moving towards the light at the end of the tunnel. You're moving, you know, we've already had the tower moment. <laughs> Let it be and move on. <laughs> like, focus on the star like you kind of have to i i don't know why but i picture i picture the star as like the light at the end of the tunnel right and so then my brain thinks tunnel and then i think about that scene in willy wonka with gene wilder where they're in that tunnel and it's like all these creepy videos and it's very creepy and scary. that scene traumatized me as a child but they're in a tunnel and that is what like the tower feels like that is what the retrograde season and the eclipse season felt like it's like we have no idea of knowing where we're going or whatever he says and there's all these creepy videos all i remember is that one of the videos has a centipede in it and that's like my worst fear anyways that's the tunnel <laughs> that we have been in and now we're coming out and we're coming to the light of the end of the tunnel we're moving towards that and if you feel still stuck in your eight of swords you still feel stuck in your grief and you still feel like you're not moving forward i mean can't blame you. Capitalist hellscape, the world's on fire. I get it. Um, but we need to, we need to move forward. Like if you want your world moment, you want um, to have that moving on to calmer shores, follow your North Star. And the emperor just flipped out. I love how the emperor in this deck is like a bear. Um, traditionally, it's the card of Aries and it has like the, the bull or not the bull, the ram horns on the throne. But this is a bear. It's pretty cool. But the emperor you gotta level up you gotta you know be the boss of your life be the leader of your life you know the emperor is the divine masculine he like gets stuff done he's the culmination of all the kings right the king of pentacles the king of swords the king of cups and the king of wands he does it all right um you know he is an <clears throat> he is the boss and you are the boss of your life so act like it <laughs> sorry if this message seems a little harsh i'm just feeling it today probably because the moon is in leo i'm a leo moon i'm like just do it um yeah every time the moon is in leo i'm like Rah! i'm like why do i feel so confident oh yeah because the moon is in leo and also we go from like oh lord that's all the cards we go from you know cancer to leo so the moon and cancer is like we're all crying and feeling weird and feeling foggy and feeling the heavy heavy lunar energy and then the moon moves it moves into leo and i'm like rah and, you know, we come out of that, like, emotional state into, like, this spotlight confidence um, state. There's a Nine of Pentacles again. I mean, look, we love to see it. A lot of repeat cards today. Similar energy on today, November 5th, as it was on November 4th. Nine of Pentacles. Independence. Abundance. Uh, taking care of yourself. Buying yourself what you want. Doing what you want. Having an abundant harvest. Anything else chaos mode that you would like to say? Or I'm going to start pulling the old-fashioned way. There we go. Oh, the Nine of Cups. The Fool. Yes. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. First, we have the Nine of Pentacles come out. Now we have the Nine of Cups. Lots of nines. Lots of nines. And the Fool. What starts the tarot? The Fool. What ends the tarot? The world. We've had a graduation. We've had our final exam. Now here comes a new journey. Here comes a new leap of faith that we may have to take on today, November 5th, or start this. I really feel like it's starting in the mind, like figuring out what you want your new journey to be. And guess what? It should be driven by the Nine of Cups. I mean, this is such a lovey-dovey Valentine's Day e card in this deck. The Nine of Cups is the card of wish fulfillment, wish come true. We have two wish come true cards here, the Star and the Nine of Cups. Again, what should you be moving towards on this new journey? It's so hard to pick up things with these nails. <laughs> they look cool, though. Come on. Oh, my goodness. The star and the nine of cups. If I could pick up this card, I would show you. Thank you. This is what you should be moving towards. 
your light at the end of the tunnel, your truest, biggest hope, dream, wish, that that's what you should be taking a leap towards. That's what you should be moving towards. Because if you're not moving towards that, what are you moving towards? Like, honestly, why would you move towards anything else? I just realized death is at the bottom of the deck. If you're feeling like you can't get to that, something's got to, you got to release something. What else do we need to know on today, November 5th? What is the vibe? Also, I know like it seems like a lot, by the way, to do these readings every single day. But, you know, the reading reading energy, it's like energy is so volatile. You can have different, completely different experiences every single day. Like, depending on what the astrological transits are or even just like, it doesn't even, astrology again, it's just energy to work with. Like, your life could change tomorrow. Your life could change today. You know what I mean? Like, energy is so all over the place. We have the four of pentacles here. Um, we've had this a few times in these readings. Um, you know, it's that scarcity mindset and it's under the nine of pentacles. And I feel like if anything is, and that is on top of, by the way, the seven of swords and the king of pentacles from the previous deck that I used. But if there, if you feel like there's anything holding you back from that, um, independent abundance, it's the four of pentacles. It's your scarcity mindset. Is that the devil? Yes, it is. It's your unhealthy coping mechanisms, you know, as a Leo moon with the moon in Leo, it's it's uh, tempting sometimes to get into that devil energy of like, it's like the arrogant kind of Leo moon energy. And again, as a Leo moon, I can say this because I experience it. Um, it's like the, um, it's the unhealthy coping mechanisms. It's the unhealthy step into the spotlight. It's the unhealthy, like, it's the unhealthy nine of pentacles energy almost of like, well, I'm just going to buy whatever I want. I'm going to like do whatever I want. I'm going to live outside my means. That might be what's kind of holding you back with the four of pentacles, the nine of pentacles and the devil. Don't do that. Take it from me. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't lean into the unhealthy coping mechanisms. We're trying to be a boss here, y'all. The hermits and the queen of wands. Yeah, if we're trying to get out, I'm going to get one more on that because... There's a six of pentacles again. This is like our eternal stalker card in the month of November. Equal give and take. Oh my goodness. Um, if you're feeling the hermit is, you know, going inside, going deeper, it's the card of Virgo. If you don't know what your nine of cups is, if you don't know what your wish come true, you don't know what your North Star is, you need to go inside and figure it out. The hermit is the card of like solitude, taking a break, taking a hibernation with the intention of I'm going to do some inner work. Um... I hear, I, I, I just realized I make Princess and the Frog references a lot, probably because it's my favorite Disney movie or one of my favorites. I hear Mama Odie's song, Dig a Little Deeper. And you know, when like um, Princess Tiana just like isn't getting it, she's like, I'm just going to work a little harder. And like, and Mama Odie's like, oh my God. Like, um, and working hard is great. Working hard is great. We love to work hard, but you know, there's no balance there. There's no six of pentacles. Tiana is all about working, 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 no time for love, not open to receiving, right? And Prince Naveen is on the opposite end of like spend, 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 uh, no love, no work, no nothing, but you know, I guess you get to spend some coin, right? No, <laughs> stop it, get some help. Find the balance. You have to do both. You have to have that equal giving and receiving and and love and money, right? That's that's what we're trying to go for. I just wanted to pull one more. Who is that that just flipped out? I by the way, when my cards drop on the floor, I pick them up with my toes. <laughs> so I don't have to bend over and grab it. Uh the Empress. Yes. And the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Absolutely. That's exactly what I was saying. That's exactly what I was saying. Just yoga teacher things, picking up cards with your feet. Um anyways, the Empress and the Two of Pentacles. This is work-life balance. This is money and love balance. This is all work and no play or all play and no work. That's imbalance. We don't like it. Stop it. Get some help. The Empress, luxury, abundance, Venus energy, Taurus energy, self-care energy, Nine of Pentacles energy. You can have this without 
diving into that devil energy without diving into the overabundance and the over luxury and the over extravagance okay we want balance <laughs> balance is the name of the game my friends so that is your reading for november 5th i hope you enjoyed um as always you can book a personal reading if you'd like um the links will be in the description box below i have a ton of witchcraft and wellness offerings i have guided journals i have ebooks i have courses i have um personal readings i also do retreats but they're all sold out at the time. Again, if you enjoy my energy, you enjoy this, hit that subscribe button or hit the join button to join my YouTube membership. If you want to support my channel, that's the easiest way to. It's kind of like a Patreon, um, but you also get a ton of stuff. You get live tarot and live yoga every week and live new moon and full moon workshops. And it's only $9.99 a month. So if you want to support my channel, please hit that join button or it just hitting the like button just helps me more than you know. I'm really trying to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please, YouTube guys, I just want that silver plaque. Um, and I'm doing this every single day for the month of November. On top of, I put out new moon and full moon yoga classes and tarot readings. On top of, I put out yoga classes for plus size folks. I do it all, my friends. So come on down. Join me here. Um, and I'll see you for tomorrow, November 6th.